Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So in our journey today, we are going to be starting at Catherine Hall in Montego Bay and we are heading back to Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. Over the next few days, we are going to be on this journey. When we reach Anchovy, look out for something. I won't tell you what it is as yet, but over the next few days, you will understand what I'm talking about. Sit back. Relax and drive with me. Now, Julian Wilson, you are at Charlene in Savlamar in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that anytime anybody sees you listening to your phone, it is this channel that you are listening to. We are told that you watch and listen to the videos over and over again. Bless up yourself, Julian. <laughs> Enough respect. Now, yesterday morning, we told you that we had gotten information that there was a murder in the Barrett Town area of St. James. We told you that we'd be bringing that story in a subsequent video. Now, we are going to be bringing that story in this video. However, we have gotten a WhatsApp message because someone from the area, they heard when we spoke about that murder yesterday. The person went on to send us a WhatsApp message. The person is also telling us who did the murder. Montego Bay Police, you're going to want to hear this one. We are going to read the WhatsApp message in its entirety. We are not going to add or delete anything. Stand by for it. No, we brought you a story on Wednesday, October 27th. We told you about an incident at Grangel, Buckner Lane, Sterling in Grangel. We told you that sometime after 3 p.m., a man named Gregory Garden, he's popularly known as Much, he was sitting in front of a shop when he was attacked and taken out by hoodlums. We also told you that we'll be doing some digging and getting some further information on Much. Here goes. Look on your screen. There are two photographs. The one on the left was taken in 2016. The one on the right was taken in 2021. Now, these photographs are of the same person. Gregory Garden, a.k.a. Much. Do you see any difference? If and when you see any difference, drop your comment in the comment section below. But, the information we are getting is that much he was a shatter he was a hoodlum he was a gunman in fact we are told that much is now facing gun and shooting charges well he was supposed to be going back to court sometime next week when his case is called up next week here is what is gonna happen the police is gonna inform the court that he was killed the judge is gonna put off the case pending the death certificate because the judge is not gonna just take the police word for it that's how these things go so when it is called up the judge is gonna adjourn it for a next date on that date the police is expected to carry the death certificate to prove that much is no longer here with us but what we are learning is that much his criminal lifestyle caught up with him these youths will never learn. They feel they can go around and shoot people and then them sit down in front of a shop as if all is well. They will never learn. Now, in the next story, this one, very, very sad. We are learning that a man, his name is Mr. Cecil Bingham. He was 71 years old. He was a retiree and he lived at Station Road in Kingsville, in the parish of Hanover. Now, Mr. Bingham, he lived alone. He was also incapacitated, meaning he was weak and feeble, could hardly do anything for himself. Mr. Bingham, he was being cared for by a lady. This lady who was caring for Mr. Bingham, she lived about five miles from where Mr. Bingham lived. Mr. Bingham, he lived in a one-bedroom house 
he had no electricity. He used a kerosene lamp for light during the night. Now, on Thursday, October 28, 2021, sometime after 6 p.m., we are told that a young man, he attended to Mr. Bingham because the lady who is caring for Mr. Bingham, when she can't go and visit him, she would ask this young man to go and look at him or attend to him. This young man, he visited Mr. Bingham in the evening, Thursday evening. He left Mr. Bingham almost 6.30 p.m. When he left Mr. Bingham, the kerosene lamp was lit on the table. Now, don't start thinking anything why I'm saying anything about this young man. He's innocent. So don't start insinuate anything, please. This young man left Mr. Bingham and went home. The next morning, about some minutes after 5 o'clock, that is Friday, October 29, 2021, some minutes after 5 a.m., residents of the area, in fact, the police could have seen it because the house is near to the police station. They saw fire coming from Mr. Bingham's house. Remember, we told you, this house is a one-bedroom board house. One of those old houses. So the board on it, well dry. By the time the fire brigade was called and went to the scene, the fire personnel, they were only able to do cooling down operation. At the end of it, the charred remains of Mr. Bingham was removed. Mr. Bingham, he died in the fire. His charred remains was taken to the Noel Holmes Hospital, where it was officially pronounced D-E-A-D. -E I've always been telling you that even though we suspect that somebody has passed, only a medical personnel can sign off on that. So, Mr. Bingham, from all indication, he might have gotten up in the night and somehow touched the kerosene lamp. He was weak and feeble, couldn't do anything to help himself. And the end result was, he was taken out in the fire. Sad indeed. May Mr. Bingham's soul rest in peace. Condolences to his family and friends. Now, if you are here and you are watching this video, if you have not yet hit on the like button, hit on it. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, over here, we bring you credible information. We go above and beyond to get the information and carry it to you. Hit on the subscribe button, as also hit on the notification bell, then click on all, so that you will be notified as soon as we have uploaded a new video. Now, in the final story for today, like we said at the beginning, yesterday we told you about this incident. We had gotten preliminary information, so we didn't bother to bring it. We got a WhatsApp message from someone in the afternoon because apparently the person heard us talking about it. We are going to tell you what happened first and then we are going to be reading the WhatsApp message that we got from the person. Barrettown Police, please, we don't listen to this one. This incident, it took place at a place named Saigon. Now, Saigon is in the Barrettown Police area in the parish of St. James. It took place on Thursday, October 28, 2021, some minutes after 9 p.m. The information is that a young man, his name is Sean Clark. He was popularly called J. R. A. J. Smith. He was 21 years old and he is from Lagood in Withern in the parish of Westmoreland. The information is that J. He was at a bar at Saigon. He was sitting in the bar for a while. As he was about to leave the bar and reached at the doorway, he was confronted by a man. This man, he had a gun in his hand. He opened fire at Jay. Jay was hit in his chest, his abdomen, and both hands. 
the hoodlum. He did not rob Jay. He made Goody's escape on foot in the area. The police were called in and Jay, he was taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E when this crime scene was processed, four 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. Four shots were fired. All four hit Jay. One in his chest, one in his belly, and one each in both hands. Now, we got this message. The person said, Greetings, Papai. In your video this morning, I hear you say a man was killed in the Barrett Town area. It happened at a place named Saigon. The young youth who dead, we know him as AJ. Him come from West, but was visiting his family because of a death in the family. He was in the area for about three weeks. The bar that he was killed, from him come up here, him always going there. Because there is a nice young bartender there that he was put in argument to. Papai is the bartender ex-man killed the youth. Them call him Toggy. Him no want nobody talking to the girl. None of the guys from the area don't look that girl. Because them know how Toggy stay. Papai, the youth did not deserve this. Because him come in the area and him not trouble people. This is wickedness. Keep up the good work, family. So me get it, so me read it. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. <laughs>